Peace be upon you. Today we're going to talk about perpendicular bisectors. I'm Mr. Ayman Arif. Perpendicular bisectors. Then, <clears throat> the perpendicular bisectors of a line or perpendicular bisector of a line segment AB is a perpendicular to AB. First of all, perpendicular to AB and will bisect AB in the midline or in the midpoint. We don't understand any, anything till now. Okay. <clears throat> AB line segment. Okay. And we have perpendicular line passing through AB in the midpoint. Okay, if you need to, to find the midpoint between two points such as A and B, if, a, if point A consists of X1 and Y1 and point B consists of X2 and Y2, to find the midpoint, which is point M, should equals X1 plus X2 over 2 and Y1 plus Y2 over 2. This is the rule. This is the first rule we're going to deal with it today. Kindly notice that the points on the, of, on the perpendicular line or perpendicular bisector are equidistant from A and B. Any point, let L point on perpendicular bisector. Then, if you draw a line from A to L, this line the length of this line should be equal to the length of LB. Okay, this is the first thing to understand. After that, the perpendicular bisector divides the number of plane or the number plane into two regions. We have two regions. This is the first and this is the second. Okay. And notice that the points that are closer to A then B will be closest point to the perpendicular bisector. Then, and these points on the other side that closer to B than A. Then, here you have points on this side. These points are closer to B and these points are closer to A. You have two regions, okay? This is region B, for example, and this is region A. Okay. Okay, let's deal with the first example right now. You're going to graph Y axis, and then you're going to graph X axis. After that, you're going to plot the points. Then here could be 2, then 4, then 6, and 8. And after that, we have like 2 and 4 and 6 and 8. The first point was 4 and negative 3, then 4 and negative 3. This is 4 and negative 3, point A. The next point should be negative 2 and 7, then this is negative 2 and 7. This is the second point, point B. Then we're going to link between them is point B till point A. Now we need to find the midpoint first of all. The midpoint given by the rule which is x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Then x1 equals 4 plus x2 equals negative 2 divided by 2. What about the next coordinate which is y coordinate? Then negative 3 and 7 becomes, becomes 4 over 2. Then the, mod, the midpoint should be 2 over 2, which is 1, and 4 over 2, which is 2. Then this is the midpoint, and which is 1 and 2. This is the midpoint, which is between the point A and point A. I'm sorry, point B and point A. Then we need to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. You don't need to graph the the line you don't you don't need to to find this like this graph or this line 
you can directly find the gradient for the line segment AB and the gradient equals or the slope equals differences for y which is 7 minus minus 3 which is 7 plus 3 which is 10 over negative 2 minus 4 which is negative 6 then the slope in this scenario becomes negative 5 over 3 this is the slope of the line segment what about the perpendicular bisector we talk before if m1 by m2 equals negative 1 this is perpendicular situation then m1 equals m1 equals negative 5 over 3 then this is negative 5 over 3 by m2 and should equals negative 1 then m2 equals 3 over 5 okay this is the gradient for the perpendicular bisector then we have two two critical parts which is the midpoint and the gradient of the perpendicular bisector then the equation should be y equals 3 over 5x plus c and we need to find the value of y intercept by substituting instead of x by 1 and instead of y by 2 then it becomes 2 equals 3 over 5 plus c that will lead us to that 2 equals 3 over 5 plus c and after that c equals 2 minus 3 over 5 and equals to 10 over 5 minus 3 over 5 and the result should be 7 over 5 then y equals 3 over 5x plus 7 over 5 what about this question in this example he said a line segment has equation 3x minus 2y plus 1 equals 0 and he gave you the midpoint by 3 and 5 first of all you need to state the gradient of the line segment then the line segment and then the perpendicular bisector question a the first part the line segment we need to determine the gradient okay then it becomes 3x equals 2y and here we have it plus 1 and after that we're gonna adjust the equation y equals 3 over 2 x plus 1 over 2 then the gradient of the line segment should be 3 over 2 negative the reciprocal for the gradient becomes the perpendicular bisector gradient and the perpendicular bisector gradient becomes negative 2 over 3 after that in the second question he said state the equation of the perpendicular bisector and write your answer in the form of ax plus by plus d equals 0 and this is the second question first of all y equals m which is negative 2 over 3 x plus c and we have the midpoint then after that we're going to substitute by the value of the midpoint to find the value of c and it becomes 5 equals negative 2 plus c then c equals 7 then the equation becomes y equals negative 2 over 3x plus 7 after that I'll send this bar to the left side, it becomes 2 over 3x plus y minus 7. After that, I'll make it by 3, then it becomes 2x plus 3y minus 21 equals 0. That's it. These questions will be your homework, inshallah. Just only solve these questions and send me the solution on this WhatsApp number. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.